I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving equations which involve fractions. We have eight examples to practice. As you see, all of them involve fractions. The strategy which I am going to use here is very simple. We call it cross multiply. Now it works like this. If we have a over b equals to c over d, we could just cross multiply. That is to say, we'll multiply this b here and the d on this side. So what we are going to get is a times d equals to c times b. Now in this equation, as you can see, there are no fractions. So, we avoid fractions by cross multiplication, correct? So, let me write down here, avoid fractions by cross multiplication. Now, let us see how it is applied and how we solve all these questions in no time. Let's begin with the very first question, which is x over 3 equals to 5. Now, cross multiplication means I will multiply 3 with 5, right? So, you get 5 times 3. So, we get x equals to 15. Do you get an idea? So, here, there is only 1 here. Therefore, we'll just multiply with 3, get rid of 3. In this case, it will be a two-step problem. We'll multiply by x. So what we get here is 6 equals to 2 times x. Now to get x, we'll divide by 2 both sides. So we get 6 divided by 2 equals to 2x divided by 2. And that gives us 3 equals to x. Correct? So we found our solutions. Now, as a good practice, you should actually also check your solutions. Now let's try to check it. x equals to 15. If I substitute 15 here, I get 15 divided by 3, which is indeed equal to 5, right? So this is what we expected. Here, if I substitute 3, what do I get? I get 6 divided by 3, which is indeed 2. Perfect. So that is how you could also perform a check once you solve your equations. Now in other questions, I'm not going to do the check part, but that is for you to do now. Correct? So let's move on. So strategy, let me remind you, is cross multiply. So let's do cross multiplication. So we'll multiply 2 by 4. So what are we going to get? We get x plus 3 equals to 2 times 4. So when I write in brackets, it means multiplication. So x plus 3 is equal to 8. And to get the value of x, we'll take away 3 from both sides. So we get x equals to 8 minus 3. And we get x equals to 5. You can always check, right? 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 divided by 4 is indeed 2. So I hope this strategy is absolutely clear. Now, in this case, if you cross multiply, you get 1 time x minus 4 on the left side, right? So, let me write 1 time x minus 4 on the left side. And on the right side of this equation, we get 2 times 3. When you open the bracket, we get x minus 4 equals to 6. Now, we can add 4 on both sides. We get x equals to 6 plus 4, which is x equals to 10. Do you see how easy it is? So if you do in this fashion, you'll avoid fractions and easily solve the linear equation. Another practice question for you, which is very similar, was slight difference. Now if I multiply, I get 2 times x plus 3 on the left side and 4 times x minus 1 on the right side. Let us apply distributive property and then expand each, right? That means we have to multiply both the inside numbers by the outside number. 2 times x will give us 2x. 
2 times 3 is 6. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. Now we have to bring variables together and constants together. So we can bring 4x to this side. So we get 2x minus 4x equals to minus 4 minus 6. 2x minus 4x is minus 2x and minus 4 minus 6 is minus 10. Now we are going to divide by minus 2. So minus 10 divided by minus 2 gives us 5 as our answer. So I like you to check all these results, right? Next one here is 1 over 3 times x plus 9 equals to x plus 1. So when you cross multiply, you get x plus 9 on the left side and 3 times x plus 1 on the right side. So I hope this is clear. So we have taken this 3 from here and multiplied with this expression which is x plus 1. Clear? Now we'll open the right hand side. On the left we have x plus 9. 3 times x gives us 3x. 3 times 1 is 3. Bringing terms together, we get x minus 3x equals to 3 minus 9. x minus 3x is minus 2x. And 3 minus 9 is minus 6. So x is equals to minus 6 divided by minus 2. Minus minus becomes positive. 3 is the answer. 6 divided by 2. Correct? So we get x equals to 3 in this particular case. Now we are almost at the end. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now this is slightly more difficult than the others. Now let's do cross multiplication. Now here we could have two different methods. We could actually simplify these numbers also because 9 divided by 3 is 3, right? So, so we could do like this. If I just take 9 this side, then we get 2x minus 1 equals to 9 over 3 times x plus 1. Well, some of you who will do this step will save some time. You could cross multiply as we did and solve. Both ways are correct, but this is better. Now see what happens. 9 divided by 3 is actually 3, correct? So you could simplify. So we could write this as 2x minus 1 equals to 3 times x plus 1. Now open this bracket. We get 2x minus 1 equals to 3 times x plus 3. Bringing terms together, 2x minus 3x equals to 3 plus 1. And this is minus x equals to 4. So x is equals to minus 4. Correct? So there are slightly different strategies being applied here. As you saw, we prefer to simplify, right? So first, then multiply. In this particular case, we cannot apply cross multiplication. So here, it is slightly different. See how. Do not apply cross multiplication in this case. Now we'll try to bring the x terms together and the constant terms together. So what we have here is 1 over 3 minus 1 over 6. Let me take it to the left side. So I be it becomes 1 plus 6, 1 over 6 with a positive sign. So first let us make it of that form, right? So we brought the constant terms on the left. Now these fractions, common denominator being 6, we can add them. 2 plus 1 is 2 over x. So this is 3 over 6 equals to 2 over x. Correct? You could simplify 3 over 6 is equal to half. Right, So half is equals to 2 over x. Now we will cross multiply. So now cross multiply. So before that we had simplified. So sometimes it is required to simplify then cross multiply. So that is how you could use your strategy. Now if you cross multiply you get x equals to 4. Do you get the answer? So this is a very important step. We need to at times simplify so that we could write them in this ratio form and then cross multiply and get the answer. I hope you understand and appreciate the strategies which we took to solve equations involving fractions. 
Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'll be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.